Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Vanessa. Today we are going to do a strength training workout. So I have two sets of weights with me today. Um, I have a set of 10 pound kettlebells, and then I have a set of seven pound dumbbells. So whatever you have, grab some weights. Uh, if you don't have weights, grab a jug of laundry detergent, a jug of water, and let's get started with the warm up on the mat. So making your way onto all fours, we'll start with a little cat and cow here, nice deep breath. Take a big inhale, arch your spine, feel like your chest is crawling up the wall in front of you. And then as you exhale, engage those abdominals, scoop and round. Big breath, inhale, arch, open up through the collarbone. Big stretchy tip to tail. Exhale, scoop and round. One more deeper breath. Pull all that oxygen, fresh energy in. And then as you exhale, get all the air out. Find your neutral spine nice and long, shoulders back and down into thread the needle. We open up, reach for the ceiling, exhale, thread through, twist through the waist. Taking 10 here, inhale to open, exhale to twist. You might get a few cracks in the spine, 30. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more time we thread. And then reach up, circle that wrist. Exhale, hand comes down, take it right into the other side. Ten times here. Open up the chest, the shoulder. Exhale, twist through the waist. So we're warming up the spine, the abdominals, through the shoulders. Three. Four. Five. Six. Last one, thread. Inhale, open, hold, hold, hold. Circle the wrist. Exhale, release that hand down. We're gonna tuck our toes. Take it right into your downward facing dog. And just take a moment here, let the body stretch out. Feel the length through the spine, pedal through the feet. Think about warming up the toes, the arches, the ankles. And then on your next exhale, drive your heels down in towards the floor. Splay your hands as wide as you can on the mat, right? So if your hand was in sand, you're making the biggest hand print you can. Tailbone reaching up and back. Keep the low back nice and long. Press the chest towards the thighs. Hold and breathe here. Lift up and out of the shoulders. Feel really strong in this pyramid pose. Right, we're lifting up out of the floor. One more deep breath here and we'll take in some movement. On your inhale, shift forward into your plank, shoulders over your wrist. Exhale, up and back into your pike. Keep your heels nice and high. Move through the hips. Chest reaches through the hands and then back towards the legs. Heating up the body a little bit more now. Inhale forward, exhale back. Drawing that navel in towards the spine. Let's go four, three, two, last one through. We're gonna come back into our plank and hold, hold. Keep pressing the floor away, feel long through the spine, long through the backs of the legs. Go towards that heat, last three. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop to the knees Slowly lower all the way into the mat. Untuck your toes, lift the chest. Draw the shoulders back and down, stretch those abdominals out. Exhale up and back, child's pose. We roll right through it. Scoop the abdominals up. We're gonna flip around and come right onto our backs. 
So keep moving here, rounding down, legs and tabletop. Take a nice big inhale. We're into our hundreds. Focus on your breath, focus on that core engagement. Exhale, curl round up. Pull the belly down, start to pump the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, two. Strong through those arms, to the abs pulling down. This is three. Exhale. Four, we're going to 10. Exhale. You want a little bit more, extend those legs long. Find your Pilates V, heels together, toes apart. This is six. Maybe start to lower. Seven. Exhale. Eight. Exhale. Nine. Exhale. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, pulse it up. And up, little lift, go eight, seven, six, five, squeeze those legs, three, two, one, lower with control, legs lower down, inhale, arms reach back. Feel that full stretch, keep the legs engaged, we're going right into roll-ups, so you have five of them. Start with the arms, peel head, neck, and shoulders, make it nice and smooth, curl all the way up. If you need, grab onto your thighs, yeah? Round forward, keep the abdominals lifting, stretch the body over the legs, not dumping into them, but staying lifted. Rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Feel that stretch and strength working together. Inhale, re-engage the heels together, squeeze them. Exhale, curl round up, heel, head, neck, and shoulders. If you feel like you get stuck, like right about here, grab onto your thighs, pull the belly in more, lift up as smooth as you can. We curl up and over, exhale. Get all the air out and slowly round down. Another modification is to just bend the knees. Yeah, squeezing the legs together tight. Inhale, reach back, press the bottoms of the feet into the mat, curl round up. Again, you can grab onto the thighs if you need, otherwise you reach forward. Dive, curl round down. One vertebrae at a time, feel it press into the mat, right? We're trying to Open up the spine here. Let's go two more. Exhale, curl around wherever you're at. Keep it smooth. Get all the air out. Narrowing those hips, squeezing the legs tight together. Everything is working. Last one. Biggest breath. Curl up and over the belly, over the hips, over the thighs. Dive forward. Slowly round down. And you're just gonna hug that right knee into your chest. Give your hip flexor a nice big stretch here. Elbows are wide, we're into single leg stretch. Last little bit of our warm up. Keep the abs pulling down. Extend that left leg long and strong like an arrow shooting out. And then we switch the legs. Take the hip flexor stretch, pull the knee in towards the shoulder. Get the nose up right next to the knee. And switch. Let's go 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Both knees into your chest and rest. Give yourself a little rock side to side. Rock on up to sit and we're ready to get into our workouts. Okay, let's get into our first circuit. Grab your heavier set of weights if you have two. We're starting with deadlifts. So we're gonna bring those feet hip distance apart, parallel. Little bend in your knees. Your weights are gonna slide right down the fronts of your legs. Keep the chest nice and wide. We inhale, lower, stick the booty back. Exhale, squeeze and lift the back of the body. Inhale, down. Exhale, squeeze and lift, keep the spine nice and long. For three, and lift. For four, squeeze it up. For five, six, seven, eight, nine, just one more, all the way up, come on down. Second exercise, we're coming down. Weight comes onto our hips, we're right into bridges. You're squeezing the hips up, open, close, and lower. It's lift, open, close, and lower. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, last one, 
Lower all the way down, come on right up. Lighter set of, sets of weights, we're on our knees. Bicep curl with an overhead press. We curl, push, flip, and down. Curl, flip the weights, in and down. This is three. Four. Core is nice and strong. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Just one more. Last ten. Push in and down. Set those weights down. We're going to keep moving right into our second round. Deadlifts. Little bend in your knees. Here we go. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Two. And up. Three. And up. Four. Squeeze at the top. Five. Spine stays long. Six. Pull the belly in towards the spine. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All the way up. Back down. One set of weights for our bridges. Curling up. Open, in, and lower. Two, three, four, five. Use those outer thighs. Keep the hips reaching up. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one here, lower it down, set the weight to the side, grab your dumbbells, bicep curl, overhead press, one, push in and down, two, in and down, three, four, five, Six, seven, three more, eight, nine, strong through your center. Last one, curl, press in and down. Dumbbells go down. Let's do last set of deadlifts. Here we go. Weights. Slide right down the front of your legs like you're shaving your legs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Think about the back of the neck staying long, looking down towards that floor in front of you. Two. Three. Keep the collarbone wide. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, last one, and come on down. Here we go, down onto the mat. Exhale, squeeze, lift, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, last set. Finish off the circuit. Grab your dumbbells. Coming up, bicep curl. You flip the palms up, in and down. Two, in and down. Three, four. Five, six, move from the waist, from the back, seven, push, eight, nine, last set, up, 
push in and down. Okay, let's get ready for round two. We're gonna start standing with some walkout push-ups. So come to the back edge of your mat, feet are hip distance apart, we're gonna round it down. Walking down, you have three walks out. One, two, three, you're in your plank. One push-up. Lift all the way up, one, two, three. Rounding down, one, two, three. We're going for 10 here. This is three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. One, two, three. Two more. Last one. Come on all the way up, round up to stand. You're gonna grab one weight, and we're going to do single leg deadlifts. So I'm gonna start with my left leg back. The weight's gonna go into my left hand. Weight is on those tippy toes, we're hinging forward, and I want you to think about your standing glute. Exhale, lift, two, and up. Spine stays long, three, and up. Four, you're thinking back of the leg and booty here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it, switch sides. Switch hands and feet. Hinge forward, abs lift, squeeze to the top. Two. You're digging the back toes down, three. Weight is in your standing heel, four, five, six. Keep trying to engage the back of the leg. Last two. Last one, put the weight down. We're into tricep dips. So we're gonna come down onto our hands, lift the hips, you have 20 here, bend and push. One, two, three, four, five, six, get out of the shoulders, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, break. That's it, we're going through that two more times. Make your way back onto your feet, Step back, walk out push-ups. Here we go, rounding down. You have three walks out. One, two, three. Ah, two. Six. 
seven. Three more. Two more. Last one. We're into our single leg deadlifts next. Once you're on your feet, grab your weight. One weight. Same foot that goes back, that weight goes into that hand. Down. Exhale, squeeze and lift. So we're thinking about our standing booty, back of the thigh. Four. Standing leg should be slightly bent. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Squeeze it up. Nine. Ten. That's it. Switch sides. Hinging forward. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. That's it. Set that weight down. I'm going to show you a little modification for tricep dips. If your wrists bother you, you can always take your hands onto your dumbbells, making fists, it'll take a little pressure off the wrist. Lift the hips, get up out of the shoulders. 20, two, three, four, five. Let the pelvis be heavy. Seven, eight, nine, halfway there. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Okay, we got one more time through this circuit. Last round of push ups. Here we go, walk it out. One, two, three. Two. Three, <sighs> halfway there. Use that breath, right? There's so much power in our breath. This is six. Exhale the weight up. Seven. Eight. Two more. Last set of push-ups here. And last one. One, two, three. Down up. Lift it up. Okay. Here we go. Single leg. Deadlifts. Grab your weight. Split stance. Find that standing glute. Lift up. One. Two, three, always a little bend in that standing leg. Four, five, stick the sits bones back. Seven, eight, nine, ten, switching sides. If you're new to deadlifts, it can be a little bit of a challenge to find that engagement. Just really keep thinking about the back of the booty and the back of the thigh, right? Visualize that working. 
Visualize that shaping. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze it up. Nine and ten. Last set tricep dips. If you have kettlebells, you can also flip your kettlebells over. Make sure they're even, giving you a little bit more of a lift. Let's go for 20. Bend and push. 10, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get out of the shoulders. Seven next days long. Halfway there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and break. Okay, give yourself a little break if you need it. We have one round left. We'll grab a sip of water if you need, and then we're coming back for our final round. Okay, third circuit for today's class, third and final circuit. We're gonna start in a plank. So you're gonna come onto your hands, no weights, come right to that plank. So you have two choices. You can step, one, two, squat, Step one, two, or you can take it into a hop. Forward catch, down and back. 10. Strong through your core. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Come all the way down. Flip right over. We're going into scissors. Draw your knees into your chest. <sighs> Exhale. Grab onto your right leg. Extend your left leg long. Pull and switch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Pull the belly button down. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten more. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Okay, third exercise. You're gonna grab your dumbbells for this one. So we have a roll up, bent knees with an overhead tricep extension. So we're gonna start at the bottom here. Skull crusher, bend and extend, push all the way up. Up and down with control. Two, and extend. Up and down. Three, and push. Up and down. Four, and push. Up and down. Five, Push, press for the ceiling, up, and roll. Six, up, seven, push, control, eight, push, nine, push, last time through, Bend, extend, push, and lower. Set those weights down. Rock it up. Second round. Find your plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lift that chest. Nine, ten. Come on down. Flip it over. Keep moving. Scissors. Find that chest lift. Curling up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Ten more, hands behind the head, we twist. 
nine, eight, seven, sharp legs, six, lift the body, four, three, two, last one, and break. Grab your weights, overhead tricep, skull crushers, curl, extend, push the ceiling, up, and roll, two, up, three, up, four, five, up, six, seven, Eight. Two more. We just have one round left. Nine. Last time through. Bend. Extend. Push to the ceiling. Up. And control down. Set those weights off. Rock it on up. Let's do it. Plank to squat. Here we go. Find your plank. Lift. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, scissors on your back, round down. Stretch and extend the legs. Pull and switch. Two, three, inner thighs work. Four, sharp, five, pull, six, seven, eight, belly down, nine, ten, hands behind the head. Switch, lift, two, three, pull away from your opposite hip. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Break. Grab your weights. Last round. Overhead. Tricep. Skull crushers. Keep the upper arm stable. We curl. Extend. Push and lower, curl, extend, push, and lower, three, exhale, lift, up, and down, four, up, and down, five, up, six, Seven. Oh, slow, slow, slow. Eight. Oh. Nine. Oh. Last one, here it is, last one, last one, last one. Here it is, curl it up. Nice and slow down for four, for three. For two and one. Woo! <sighs> Take a few breaths. Nice job. Three rounds, three circuits. I'm sweaty. I hope you are too. I hope you felt the burn. Whew. Grab a sip of water. If you need to pause the video, pause the video for a second. We're going to stay on our backs. Take it in to a little cool down. When you're ready, hug your knee into your chest. Take a nice big exhale into your spine and twist. Ooh, I just got some cracks. Opposite arm comes into cactus pose. Maybe taking your gaze away from the legs, let the pelvis be heavy. 
Let the belly expand on your inhale. Everything softens on your exhale. Enjoy all this energy that you created in your body. Really feel it. All right, allow yourself to be present for a moment and just acknowledge that work. Let's take it into a figure four stretch. Maybe you just want to press on the knee. Maybe you want to hug both knees in and grab onto the shin, onto the back of the thigh. I like to take a few rocks side to side. Just find different angles. When you feel an angle, you feel needs a little bit more tension. Hold and breathe into it. And then let's just switch sides. Other leg reaches long, big inhales, you pull the knee in, big exhales, you let the knee fall over. You can really stack the hips here and then take the gaze away from the leg. Practicing the opposite arm, think about the shoulder coming down in towards the mat. See if you can really release the belly. Right, you're probably at home, nobody's watching. It's okay to let your belly stick out. It feels good once you can get to a point to actually learn to release it. We spend so much of our life sucking everything in. Ah, oh, feels good to let go. Cross your leg, figure four. But honestly, it, it takes time to learn to do that, right? We're wearing tight clothes, trying to always show off that waist becomes like unconscious behavior, always sucking in, which is actually also limiting our breath, which limits our energy, which limits our blood flow, which limits our, uh, the way our body really operates. Our, our, all of our systems don't work as efficiently as if we had our, our maximum breath capacity working for us. Okay, let's find a butterfly pose, Supta Baddha Konasana, bottoms of the feet come together. And just let yourself get as comfortable as you can. Roll your shoulders underneath you, let your knees open nice and wide. Let your heart shine out. And just feel really heavy into the mat, let everything sink down. Staying here as long as you'd like. Be ready to finish class. You can hug those knees into your chest. Give yourself a few rock and rolls. This should feel good on the spine. When you rock up, let's just come to a seated position. Comfortably crossing the legs. Let the eyes even close if you're comfortable here. Let the ribs expand. And then last deep breath. Reach those arms out and up. Find your power pose, open up the chest. Feel all that energy, that love, that strength, that power you created, and draw it right into your hands. Draw that right into the center of your chest, your heart chakra, your center of love and compassion. As you inhale, breathe those feelings in, let them expand. As you exhale, send them out. I send them out to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had an awesome workout. You got a little sweaty. Uh, and I'll see you again on the next one. Peace and love. You are strong. You are worthy. You are capable. Let's do this.